Hey everybody, it's Ruthie. Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. I am doing a video today about my funny, sweet, beautiful little Abigail. She's my granddaughter. She's This is when she was probably two and her she was staying with us um, and her sis, two sisters are sta were staying with us when the dad and the mother was uh, being deployed. They were both in the military. So they've been over at our house quite a, quite a bit up until the last maybe year and a half, two years. But every time we'd put her to bed and I'd tell her, close your eyes and go to sleep, close your eyes. And then she'd say, sing to me, grandma. So that I always told me sing Amazing Grace. And then she'd make this face when I'd look over and I'd go, close your eyes. And she'd always make this face pretending to be asleep just absolutely too precious so i'm going to be using this frame that i found and uploaded into cricut design space and i love this thing okay so anyway i had to get my my old dog sadie she had to get her to lay down anyway so she's we're doing this and this is a frame and i uploaded this to um to cricut design space and had it cut out and I loved it the, the same way. I could have altered it a little bit here, but what I'm going to do is I, I mounted this on the black paper and I this is like a bluish teal kind of color. And I'm going to put this in yellow. I'm not using print this time, I'm just using solids, but I have a lot of different embellishments that I've made. So I'm going, she's going to go here let me see, I did have my temporary adhesive here, so I'm going to just adhere this just a little bit. I thought about cutting um, this at, in, behind her. I thought about cutting it out and making it more like a frame, but I thought I would just leave it like this because I just, I thought it would, it would be fine. I didn't put enough of glue back on the back of that. <laughs> so all of my grandbabies are on, uh, break next week the whole state is on you know their midwinter break all right i don't remember having that many breaks when i was a kid it just we were always in school anyway i digress <laughs> anyway so i have another yellow in here that i'm going to be putting some stuff on top of so here's some of the things i cut out i quit buying uh, embellishments from places one I couldn't find everything I wanted and two they were so expensive that I just couldn't afford it so now I upload everything from either Canva I google some of them and find uh, free search you know free clip art and I have shown that in a couple and I will I will show some more of that later on so I uploaded these and I'm cutting them out one I can customize it a little more to what I want it and the other is is that I don't have to pay money except for cardstock, which I already have. A lot of these I'm using now is print and cut because I really do want to get caught up on some of my pages because I went for a couple, several months without doing any pages. So I just want to do some pages and they turn out great and I can, you know, put whatever I want. So this one just has sweet dreams. This one is just a sleep mask. And then I found this clock on Google and it's just, you know, it's Z in and it's got the little hat on it. And then I found, I don't know if that's a sun or a moon. Either way, it's down for a nap as well. The, the, the I'm using this as my journaling. Uh, and it just says, shh, Abigail is sleeping. The other thing is this little dragon. Dragons is one of her favorite things. So I cut this dragon out because it's sleeping. I cut this little sleeping heart out. But the other thing, guys, is you can also find print. You can find patterns and print on Google, on Canva, on different things, and you can upload it and do a print and cut on these things. And this is that's how I got this, this done. It was a Google print. And this I'm using for my title, Sweet Dreams. So all of these are print and cut. But if you don't have a Cricut, you can still download these things, print them out on cardstock, and you can just fussy cut this. I do have a Cricut and I've used it for quite some time and I love my Cricut. So those are my embellishments that I'm going to be using on this paper. 
So this is going to be a quick page because I did do a lot of the prep before with cutting this out, prepping this, and, and uploading all of these things. So I'm just going to start putting these things in. This is Sweet Dreams, I think I'm going to put here. I, want to, I don't know if I want this over on this side or this side. I want to wait and see what I put here, and I may switch that. The other one I think I'm going to put down here, maybe in the other corner. And this little sleeping dragon, I cut him a little extra big because I do want him just kind of laying right here. And I am going to put a little temporary adhesive on him because I do want him just like he's sleeping on that shelf or ledge or something, which is the one thing I like about this is that it looks like shelves and none of these things have to be look like they're floating in midair, which is sometimes it's, it works great for a page and other times it doesn't. I still may cut this down a little bit, but for temporary, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I lost my little cloud and I was looking everywhere for it, but see this little cloud, and it's got little hands. So what I thought of doing is, I'm just gonna put this down. Put some adhesive on this so it'll quit moving around on me. There we go. Tell you what, I don't whatever do without this adhesive, this temporary adhesive. It's my oops stuff, you know, my go back. So a couple of the other things that I found that I, I did cut out is this one here that says Sweet Dreams Little One. But I don't think it pops as much as some of the other things. This is another one that I made because my original thought was to use this like a headboard. And I just didn't like the way that one came over either. So I'm going to put this, I think, here. And then I thought I would put the cloud up here with the hands. And I thought it would look like it's holding that sign up. I'm not going to hear that down just yet because I do want to make sure everything is going to look good before I do. I do have two sizes of these. I think the I think this bigger one well, it may be okay. But I see I had the smaller one. I think I kind of like the bigger one because it looks like it's you know, it's kind of sitting on the ledge and kind of leaning on it too. I just have to figure out where I where I want it. I'm gonna leave that right there for now. And I have the sleeping clock, schnoozing away. And then I have the little sleeping heart. Oh, what am I missing? I had something for here too. I could put the max there. I did my, my did I lose something? Cause I thought I had something else. Well, maybe not, either way. So I'm going to put this. So I'm going to glue these things down. I don't know if I like that mask or not. I'm going to put you on, put you, stop you guys for just a minute. I'm going to see if I can figure out what I lost because, oh, and there's a glare. Sorry about that. I'm going to see if I can find what part it is that I've lost. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm sure I'll find that pay, that whatever that is I'm missing and think about what it is that I'm missing once I uh, glue all this down, but that's okay. I found some other things that I had cut out early and didn't intend on using, so I think I'll just go with that. I cut these Z's out, so I think that's going to, that's going to work. I could just put them randomly, or I could put them in like you know, the smaller to the larger, but I think I kind of like it the way it was just kind of random in there, but upside right, so you know there's these. And it's kind of like Z's going up in the air, everybody's snoring away. So that's what I'm going to do. And of course I am going to get a bug on here. And I'm not sure what bug it's going to be, but take a look in the finishing at the end of it and see what it looks like. I will have some close-ups of this page when uh, when I get it all done and I will see you guys for another video soon I will be using this frame thing again because I think it turned out super cute and I have another one another uh, one I'm definitely going to use it for and it's my grandson and he falls asleep in the strangest positions so I'm going to be doing some pages on him and I have some uh, my granddaughter who does 
uh, roller derby. Yes, you heard me. Roller derby. Uh, she was eight years old and, and started doing roller derby. So I'm going to have some uh, quite a few pages coming in. So if you like this video, guys, please hit that thumbs up. It helps me and my videos. If you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Share it. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave that down below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.